Lumberjacks have a very difficult profession. Spending all day cutting down massive trees is not only dangerous but exhausting. It takes a large team of skilled workers to maneuver the huge tree trunk safely onto the beds of their trucks. Sometimes while cutting down trees, loggers find interesting objects lodged in the trunks. Trees can live to be hundreds of years old and during their lives have withstood severe weather, human contact or any number of other things that might interfere with the way they've grown. During a routine tree removal recently, several loggers struck something metal inside of the trunk while they were chainsawing. When they finally extracted the object, they were fascinated by what they found. During a routine tree removal process, a team of lumberjacks were using their chainsaws to cut through a thick trunk. The chainsaw suddenly stalled and the chain broke. What exactly had they cut into? All the workers were in awe at the unusual splintering inside the trunk. They first pulled out one small piece of warped metal, but there was a second lodged slightly deeper. After the mystery after the mystery objects had finally been removed, they examined it closely until they realized what it was. As it turns out, it was actually a bullet from a shotgun. How did a bullet get so deep in the trunk? Industry. Interestingly enough, trees technically don't heal. They simply encapsulate whatever damage they've sustained and then continue to grow around it. Apparently, one of the crewmen explained, board hunters of the past often shot at trees. After counting the rings of the tree to determine its age, the loggers came to the conclusion that it had been lodged in the tree's trunk for over 30 years. The crew continued to saw through the wood in hopes that maybe they could uncover other hidden items. When the team finally finished grinding down the trunk, they came across several more old shotgun slugs. It looked like this particular hunter must have been extremely disinterested in the woods that day. Finding these bullets buried so deep in the tree is like stumbling across a small piece of local history.